Not long after her famous moment in 1939, singing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Marian Anderson missed her train to Louisville. The singer arrived late at the now defunct Baxter Avenue train station, and then went on to Louisville's 10th Street station, which still stands today. Reporters met the world famous singer at both places. She didn't take any questions about the controversial and racist events that led to the landmark outdoor performance, but she was eager to tell reporters about another recent performance in the White House for the Roosevelts and their guests, the King and Queen of England. Also performing on that same stage that same historic night was a Kentuckian named Lily Mae Ledford. After finally arriving and settling in, Marian Anderson performed for a packed and appreciative audience in Memorial Auditorium. It was one of many performances that she would give in Louisville. At some point during the 1950s, this photo was taken in the Louisville home of Dr. Jesse and Geneva Bell. That's Geneva on the right, and next to her is Marian Anderson. Dr. Jesse Bell, originally from Louisiana, worked at Waverly Hills Sanatorium and later became the first black doctor at Jewish Hospital. Thanks to his time at Waverly, he became interested in chest diseases and was soon a leader in understanding and educating the public about related issues. The Bells traveled to Japan several times for conferences and to learn more from the international medical community. One visit took place during the 1957 civil rights crisis surrounding the Little Rock Nine in Arkansas. People in Japan were curious for an explanation to the events, and Dr. Bell and his wife Geneva were at a loss, saying there was no reasonable explanation for the way black American citizens were being treated. Geneva was an active community member and a teacher in Jefferson County Public Schools. In our West of Ninth exhibit, we're excited to display several pieces of clothing from the Geneva Bell textile collection, thanks to our friends at the Filson Historical Society. Geneva Bell was well known for her fashion sense, but while living in Louisville prior to open accommodation laws, which came in 1963, Louisville department stores were segregated. And because of this, Geneva refused to patronize any of them. Instead, she ordered her clothing from a mill in Utah. While in private practice, Dr. Bell's office was in the Parkland neighborhood on West Kentucky Street. And during the 1950s, the Bells lived on Greenwood Avenue in the Chickasaw neighborhood. Marian Anderson returned for many Louisville performances throughout the 1950s. And it was during one of these visits that she joined the Bells and friends at their house for a meal. It's easy to take this picture at face value, friends dining together, but beyond that, it gives us a glimpse at incredible people who were doing wildly important things for civil rights, the arts, public health, and making the world, the country, and their communities better places. Dr. Bell died in 1998, and Geneva passed away in 2013, one day after her 108th birthday. The couple is buried in section 35 of Cave Hill Cemetery. Next week, I'll travel to the Filson Historical Society to find an exciting piece of history that I happen to hear about while learning about the Bells. Stay tuned and join us for that.